What's up, everyone? Warmer Day here with another episode of the show Rig on Fire. Today, we are going to take a look, yes, the real deal, the Mesa Boogie Mark II C Plus against the Nero DSP plugin. And let's see if they did a good job or not. <laughs> Well, before we go any further, I need to say again, this is not my first channel, this is my second channel, because my biggest channel is in Portuguese, because I'm from Brazil, but I live here in the United States, so if you're from Brazil, don't sweat it, there is a link for the same episode in Portuguese on the description field below. What do we have here? We have, as I said, the real deal, the Mark II C Plus from Mesa Boogie, 1984 model, and we have this amazing plugin from Neuro DSP, the Mark II C+. Today, I'm, I'm going to compare how close is the real deal with the plugin, and I'm not going too deep on the plugin or even the amplifier, because I'm going to do another video about this amazing beast hook up in the 4x12 cabinet and see how it sounds for, for real. And I'm, I'm going to do another video explain better the Plugin. I don't think I'm going to do that because there is lots of videos already on YouTube. First of all, uh, this is a classic. Was in a lots of classic and amazing metal albums, Master of Puppets, and Justice for All, among another metal albums. It's a real amazing amplifier. You don't even need any pedal in the front of the amp. Sounds amazing by itself. The Mark series from Mesa Boogie, even Mark One, Mark Two, Mark. 2B, 2C+, Plus, or Mark IV, Mark V, they have a different topology. Uh, it's kind of the, the same idea on the first Fender amplifiers. They have the equalizer before reach the preamp. That hence the equalizer after the preamp here. Because the, the way that you're going to reach the, the distortion with the equalizer is going to bring more or less distortion in a certain range of frequencies. So keep that in mind, okay? Uh, it's not a, like a regular amp. As you can see on the, on the plugin, you're going to have here is faded. The, the, the marks of the numbers is super old. It's fading a little bit. It's hard to see. But as you can see on the image here, you're going to have this push pull in almost every single knob and this is can engage the, the distortion channel or you can put the treble knob and make it a little bit more aggressive it's going to be very tight every single knob here has lots of different functions and when you see the, the knob bigger than the normal on the plugins it's going to be pulled i spent maybe one hour and a half two hours try to match the tone of the amp and the plugin even like that, amplifier has a very unique voice. Don't get me wrong, the plugin sometimes sounds even better than the amplifier, in my opinion. And it's really amazing, super close. The vibe is here, don't get me wrong. But even like that, the, the amp has a, a different uh, mid bite and a different kind of compression. And I even try to match the, the, the Simo class and the class A type of headroom and compression because they even did that on the plugin the same kind of power amp differences but and even like that i had a very hard time to you know to make it very close and come on this is a very rare beast you can find this amp on the market for thirteen thousand dollars it's very rare and super expensive amp and you have a 100 dollars plugin with almost the same tone i would like to thank my friend brad bigler that lent me this piece here thank you man so much for this let's go to the video first of all the signal flow it's going to be my bob with emg pickups 81 on the bridge 85 on the mac and the guitar goes inside the black loop here i'm, I'm going to use as a ab box when you see the loop two engage it's going to be the plugin when you see the loop one is going to be the amplifier okay 
the amplifier is inside my torpedo life loading those impulse response here from electric eye audio the veteran wars two different speakers two different microphones and i did the same thing on a plugin the same impulse response if you want to grab those impulse response you can go to the electric eye audio and buy them disclaimer the following video that you're going to watch right now is the video in Portuguese with my voice in English over my voice in Portuguese. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. Shoot two different contents for two different channels. Thank you for understanding. Let's go to the video. I'll be right back. Well, let's go. Let's start with the plugging. <laughs> Now the amplifier. No talk, just swapping. I spent lots of time trying to match the tone. This was the closest possible. But the mid bite of the, the real amplifier is really hard to, to replicate. But don't get me wrong, the plugin is awesome. Well, let's play a little bit more and see how it goes. tell on the amp has more gain naturally uh, let's try to increase the gain on the plugin a little bit more and see what happens because i feel a lack of distortion and gain here 
to replicate exactly the same tone, but let's try even harder to match the tone. I'm not sure yet, let's try again. It is so good sometimes, I don't know if it's the plugin or the amp. It's really close, but there is some difference still on the mid bite and the compression. There is something. The way the real amp clipping it's very close on the the plugging, but it still remains a difference very hard to replicate. <laughs> I think at this point uh, the plugin has too much gain, I think I exaggerate a little bit. Almost forgot to mention you're going to have lots of pedals, overdrives and chorus, equalizer and even a delay and reverb pedals here. But everything is off, I just use the amp to compare with the real amp. This is the real amp again. The, the overdrive a little bit is too much right now. The amp again.
closer, a little bit closer. Let's try other thing here on the graphic equalizer. Let's try some hard rock, maybe more mids for a solo. <laughs> Very close, let's play a little bit more. Now the plugging. Almost the same settings. This is very strange because sometimes I think the plugin uh, sounds a little bit better, maybe? Am I crazy? Let me listen to this amplifier again. These mid bites on the real amp, oh my god. Well, as you can see, it's really good. It's, it's almost magical tone. Both, I really love the plugin, but as you can see, it's really hard to match that mid and that compression. The, the real deal is still is, the, is very complex, I might say. Let me know what you think on the comment section. What do you prefer? I'm really honest here because I don't, the, they don't sponsor this video. I'm just, grab the free trial version to try to compare those two things because I think it's it's a very good idea right since I have this amp with me right now and you know let me know in the comment section what you think because I think sometimes the the plugin is it's even better depends on the situation I and it's hard to say it's hard to say I'm, I'm going to realize on the mix when I edit in the video and everything but so far it's awesome the amplifier is amazing it's uh, it's like as i said it's almost magical tone for me and but the plugin is, is really really good and really close to the real deal i think that's it i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe thumbs up if you don't watch yet my last video my last single the heavy droids it's my last single it's gonna be on my new album in 2023 Show some love, go there and spread the word. The link in the description will be below as well. Thanks for watching, see you next time.